story that WBZ broke. Tonight, the deputy police chief in Hopkinton is facing child rape charges. And we're told the accusations are connected to his old job as a school resource officer. And this investigation started last year. WBZ's Louisa Muller has the story you saw first on WBZ. Former Hopkinton Deputy Police Chief John Porter, who also goes by Jay, posed proudly in a picture. Now, he's indicted on three counts of child rape. That indictment involves, as you know, allegations that while working as the school resource officer, that the deputy chief became acquainted with the victim in that case, who was then 15 years old. Um, and on a number of occasions, allegedly sexually assaulted her. I'm shocked. I mean, apparently this happened many years ago. According to the Middlesex District Attorney's Office, the veteran officer is accused of sexually assaulting a 15-year-old on multiple occasions in 2004 and 2005 while he was a school resource officer in Hopkinton. The incidents allegedly happened off school property. Porter was placed on administrative leave last August without explanation. Nobody knew why, and then today we found, we heard, you know, we heard what had happened. But he continued work in a different field as the coach of the varsity girls soccer team at Blackstone Valley Regional Vocational Technical School in Upton. That's while state police detectives looked into his case. His name listed as the head coach for the 2022 season, according to their website. On Monday, the superintendent released a statement saying, quote, Mr. Porter, who served as the head coach of the girls soccer team, has resigned, facing allegations in his personal life, and is no longer an employee of the district. We went to the Hopkinton Police Department. Can I leave a couple questions for the chief by chance? But we're told of no comment. Hopkinton's town manager and police chief released a statement saying they are troubled and disturbed by these accusations. Porter was allowed to retire on Friday. He has a summons arraignment set for May 9th. That means he is not in custody. In Hopkinton, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. And we won't stop asking the questions there. Good job, Louisa. Hey, everyone. Today I'm diving into a deeply troubling and important topic. The 2024 scandal involving police officers caught in a child pornography ring. So how did we get here? It all started with an extensive investigation by federal authorities. Over the past year, they uncovered a network operating across multiple states involving not just civilians, but also individuals sworn to uphold the law. Now, when we think of police officers, we think of protectors people who put their lives on the line to keep us safe. But in this dark twist, some officers wound on the other side of the line. The investigation revealed that these officers used their positions of power to hide their heinous activities, exploiting the trust placed in them by the community. Why did these officers do it? Well, that's a complex question. Some were driven by personal demons, others by a deep-seated sense of invulnerability thinking their badges shielded them from justice. This scandal has shaken public confidence and raised serious questions about oversight accountability within police forces. Authorities have already arrested several officers and more arrests are expected as the investigation continues. The public outcry has been massive, with many demanding thorough reform and stricter screening processes for law enforcement personnel. This is just about punishing the guilty it's about understanding how such a breach of trust could happen and ensuring it never happens again. It's about protecting the most vulnerable among us and holding accountable those who exploit their power for nefarious purposes. In the wake of this scandal, communities are coming together to demand transparency and justice. It's a painful reminder that vigilance is necessary, even when it comes to those who are supposed to be our protectors. So what can we do? Stay informed, stay involved, and keep pushing for the changes that ensure our police forces are trustworthy and accountable. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, please like and share. And remember, awareness is the first step towards change. Stay safe and stay vigilant.